Well, I haven't done a uh, a check-in in a bit. Uh, today is 30 days of the carnivore diet. Um, I've been able to stick with that and maintain it. Um, some of the questions I've had is like, you know, well, what what is my first thing I'm going to eat when I'm off of it? And, you know, honestly, I think I'm probably going to kind of stick with it. Um, I feel good. Like, I don't really have any cravings for anything. I mean, uh, I've been able to get kind of creative and, you know, found some, like, carnivore bread stuff that's made with, like, powdered egg whites and, and other stuff. And it, I mean looks and kind of feels like bread so I've been able to make like uh, hamburgers with that you know which is it's fine you know I think the the things I'm going to start including into my diet in in some moderation is going to be fresh fruit and um, maybe honey and stuff like that I'm still going to try to stick pretty natural um, my wife eats ketogenic for health reasons and so I'm probably going to lean a little bit more towards that. Um, for myself, like right now, I'm not training for anything. So I don't need an abundance of carbohydrates. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to see how I feel doing kind of a lower carbohydrate diet. And higher protein, higher fat. Um, and see how that works for me. I've been studying a lot about um diet for brain health and so i'm gonna start trying to implement some of these things uh you know the reason why i did the carnivore diet for these last 30 days was when i was traveling you know i kind of let the the wheels fall off and you know i was eating a bunch of stuff that i don't normally eat and you know one of the big things that i was eating was sugar processed sugar you know, like having desserts at every meal, that kind of stuff, you know, and I was like in treat myself mode because I was traveling and thinking about, you know, okay, well, I'm not going to have this stuff all the time. And, you know, I got in this mindset of like, you know, uh, I don't know when I get to have it again. So I need to have all of it right now. And when I got to Montana and got settled, like my joints hurt, like, like hurt, like, you know, I don't have arthritis. But it felt like what I've heard people describe arthritis being like. And then, um, in all honesty, the brain fog was pretty, pretty serious. Um, I felt like, I would say almost depressed and like, like just, bleh. and I have had seasonal affective disorder before. And when I came back to Montana, it was pretty dark. Um, so I kind of thought maybe it was that, maybe it was a dropout of vitamin D being from being in Texas for a long period of time to um, going to like no sunlight. And then I just started kind of reflecting on what, what are some of the big changes? And one of the biggest ones was diet. You know, just really eating a lot of stuff that I don't normally eat. And so I, I just figured I would do it an elimination diet and, you know, see if this would, this would help. And it, it did. So this is the second time that I've done 30 days of carnivore. Um, kind of the same thing. I don't feel like it's a sustainable life style for me. Like, I don't think I could eat 365 days this way. I mean, I could if I had to, if I had some autoimmune stuff going on. Um, you know, which I mean, I guess when I start implementing or adding foods on there, I can see how I react or respond. If it came between, you know, being healthy and eating meat every day, I'll definitely choose eating, being healthy and eating meat every day. Um, so I guess some of the things that it helps with is definitely food cravings. So I was eating a lot of like higher fat meat. So like ground, good ground hamburger meat, um, grass fed, grass finished, um, steaks and lamb and a lot of eggs. We got chickens when we came back. 
and so a lot of eggs and then I make my own bacon so I know it doesn't have you know added preservatives and stuff to it and you know that was pretty much it and I was I was really only eating like two meals a day because the stuff I was eating was keeping me pretty full um, I have not been able to work out um, pretty quickly I had a back injury raise its head that I've been dealing with for the last 20 years and I was pretty much floored um, for the first couple weeks of it and when I say floored I mean like I couldn't get off the floor like I could not stand up on my own um, I was in extreme amount of pain and uh, yeah that, that that part sucked I'll probably put a later video up about that because um, I don't know which direction I will be going with that um, if it's going to be surgery or if I'm going to be looking at some other type of alternative uh, interventions but um, yeah I'm just now able to move a little bit um, but anyways back to the carnivore stuff uh, yeah I, I definitely feel like it's it's totally manageable I do feel like it is an effective elimination diet because it's not hard. I mean, maybe it's hard if you don't like meat, but I mean, for me, I've, I've always been somebody that likes um, meat. So um, once you get over the first like couple days or so, you know, yeah, my body adjusts to it really, really well. So, yeah, to me, it doesn't make sense to, like, drastically swing the other way because I hit my 30 days. Um, I'll probably just incorporate, you know, you know, like I said, some more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that and seeing how I'm feeling. Um, you know, my wife and I have done a lot of research on eating for health reasons, you know, because of her cancer stuff that came up. And then obviously, you know, we're both um, mental and health minded because of the type of work that we do. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Um, I'm happy to answer whatever questions I have. If it's something that's above my pay grade, I'll point you in the directions of, of resources and stuff that I've used um, but yeah if you're not feeling well and you're you know hurting or you feel like you've got some autoimmune stuff going on maybe worth looking into um, everybody's different right so kind of what I've taken away from this is everybody's body responds in different ways to different stuff all right so I definitely can't say this is a cure for everyone you know, I haven't drank any Kool-Aid where I'm thinking everybody has to do this type of thing. But I definitely feel like it's been helpful for me. And I like to share things that help me, you know, on this journey of life. So anyways, uh, stay tuned. And yeah, I'll be back.